So let's walk through the process of enabling and configuring IPv6 on a Cisco router. Now I have a router here. We have no configuration on whatsoever. I've got it plugged into a couple of switches and I have it powered up and that's about it. We're just going to walk through the part about configuring IPv6 on it. So we're going to go to privileged exec mode and then to config T. Now the first thing we have to remember is that IPv6 routing is not enabled by default on Cisco routers. So we can configure IP, but it won't actually work without that IPv6 routing being enabled. And the way we do that is with one command here in global config. It's IPv6 unicast dash routing. And of course you can shorten that. Uh, when we do that, if we do a show run, we'll see right here our new line IPv6 unicast routing, which means that's enabled and we can now route IPv6. Now if you don't do that, you can go ahead and configure IPv6, but it won't actually route packets for you. So you got to remember to do that. Now the next step is to configure IPv6 on our interfaces. So I'm going to go into interface G00 and I'm going to give it an IP address. And the way we do it is we do an IPv4 address using the command IP add or IP address. With IPv6 is just IPv6 add or IPv6 address. And then I'm going to give it db8 acad colon one colon colon one slash 64. Now, key thing here, I give it the IPv6 address and remember I'm using some all the techniques to shorten the address so I don't have to type out all 128 bits. But instead of using a subnet mask, we'll do this, the slash 64, which says this is my prefix length. It's a 64-bit uh, prefix. And that will assign my IP address. And then to activate the interface, I do a no shutdown. And then I can do a description if I want. It's not required. Link to LAN 1. All right, let's do the same thing to um, our another interface. Just walk through it one more time. So it's interface G01, IPv6 add 2001 DB8. There we go. DB8. ACAD colon 2 colon colon 1 slash 64. We'll set the description of, whoops, of, make it capitalized so it'll look better, link to LAN2, and no shutdown. All right, so that configures my IPv6 on my interfaces. And I've already enabled it using that command um, IPv6 unicast routing. So if I exit out of here, I should be able to do a show run, and I should see right here my link to LAN 1 and my IPv6 address. If I do a show IPv6 interface brief, and I got to specify v6, otherwise it'll try to show me my v4 addresses, I'll see that I actually have two addresses. I have my global unicast address, and these are the ones I set, but I also have this which is my link local address. Now that is automatically generated using the EUI64 method from the 48-bit MAC address of the interface. Now I can specify my own link local addresses. And here's how I do that. We go back to config T interface G00. So it'd be IPv6 add, and then I specify, let's make this FE80 colon colon 1. And then I'm going to specify this as my link local. And that will set it as my link local a address. Now I'm going to do the show IP interface brief, but rather than exiting out, I'm going to type do show IPv6 interface brief. And now it'll show me my link local address. Now notice that I set that on one interface. Um, whoops, let me 
get the right one. There's my link local address. I set that on one interface, not on my other interface. So I'm going to go into my other interface now, interface G01, and issue the same command. And I'm going to use my command history and just hit the up arrow a couple of times until I get to the exact same address. Now, I can't set the exact same global unicast address on uh, two different interfaces on a router, but I can with my link local address. So command history again to my do show IPv6 interface brief, and you'll see that we have the exact same link local address, and we can do that because link local addresses are not routable. Okay, so we've enabled IPv6, we've configured IPv6 global unicast addresses, we've configured IPv6 link local addresses, uh, and then we verified it using the show run command, which remember shows us our configuration and our show IPv6 interface brief command which shows us our current status. If I want to look at the routing table it would be show IPv6 route and here I should have a couple of things here. I have my directly connected networks, here's network 1, here's network 2, and I have my local interface um, host routes on those two networks as well. Okay, so we have done it. We have configured and enabled IPv6 on a Cisco router.